welcome back to another video. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Me is so quick with the uploads. Intro's over. Subscribe before you go. Welcome back everybody, it's me is so quick. And in today's video, I've got another shoe customization I'm gonna do, okay? So, I've got these. What used to be Nike white Harachis, which are, you know, they're terribly yellow now. I think I only wore the shoes about five times, but I must have been at a carnival. I don't know, kicking up dust somewhere. So these are things are far from white, as you can see. But I figured these would be a perfect shoe for me to just, you know, try out some different color schemes and see, see how I like them since I haven't worn them for a year. And I mean, I got them, so I should wear them. But first thing that I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these bad boys up. Um, and I'm really just gonna get some Dawn dish soap and kind of like a nail brush and scrub it, scrub it, scrub it. And then I'll let you guys go ahead and take a look at what it's gonna look like once I'm done cleaning it, all right? So be back in a second. So as you can see, it got a little bit cleaned up. So um, as far as the the white leather parts, those are pretty clean, so I think I'm going to probably just leave those as it is, as well as the sole. Um, the fabric, though, <laughs> cloth material, that's dirty, so I'm definitely going to paint that. And I'm going to have to do something with these little tabs, because these are, these are definitely yellowed, so I'm going to do something on those. But not, not too bad. I won't have to paint the whole shoe, but I actually have no idea what color I'm gonna do so uh let me figure that out all right so after a lot of thought um I went ahead and stuffed the shoes with some towels just so that when I'm painting it'll it'll hold its shape a little bit better and I decided that I want to kind of go with the Miami Dolphins color scheme so I'm gonna have to mix some colors I'm gonna start off I'm gonna take one of these little clear acrylic jars and I'm just gonna start mixing in some paint along with some GAC 900. Okay my final step in this mix is I'm gonna add a little bit of duller just to reduce the shine in both of these mixtures. Alright and then for my next part I'm gonna go ahead and tape up all of the leather tabs. I just got some vinyl tape. I never tape but I'm trying not to be lazy. Alright, so at this point I went ahead and taped up everything, uh, don't necessarily know if I needed to, but, so I'm going with these Miami colors. Alright, so I'm just going to go in, I'm going to take a thinner brush this time just because I really want to make sure I get close to the line, so you guys can just go ahead and watch me do that. So after I applied the paint as one coat, I'm probably going to add another one, but before I do so, I'm going to go ahead and have to heat set it. Since I added that fabric medium, the GAC 900, you got to make sure that you apply enough heat so that the paint, number one, doesn't start fading away um, and that it actually will set to the material. Here's what it looks like after two coats and it's been dry. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is start with uh, a little blue color. So I let that first coat dry um, and I like it, but it's looking a little too dark. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off all the tape and then I'm gonna see if I can do a second coat or even a third coat on the fabric with like a lighter 
a lighter bluish color and see how that turns out. All right, so here's what I'm looking like after all of those coats are laid down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some acetone and some Q-tips and I'm gonna go around and clean up some of the little areas where I got paint or I didn't want them. Alrighty, now for one of my next steps, I'm going to go ahead and remove the towel I got inside that was keeping the shape of my shoe. And I'm going to go in and paint the sock liner. I'm not going to go all the way down because I don't feel like it, but enough to where it's not going to show. So I'm going to take the same paint on a bigger brush and paint that inside. So as you can see, I'm done with the sock liner. It came out pretty good. So my last thing I'm gonna do is work on this tab. Though, like I said, the rest of the shoe is, is white, it's good, but this is still yellowed. So I think I wanna make it kinda like a, a light gray, like a misty gray. Um, and I wish I had some too hard, cause this is pretty much a harder tab back here, but we'll see how it works out, all right? So to do that, I'm gonna go in with some flat white and just like a drop of some flat black. So it looks pretty good. I like how it's looking, I like how it all goes in together. So my last thing I was thinking about is I wanna try to do this Nike symbol in black, the lettering in black. So let's go, I hope this turns out well. All right, so after several hours, this is the final look of these white Nike Hirachis that are now orange and teal, and I threw on some black laces, all right? So yes, the little gray strap in the back really makes this shoe pop and pulled it all together along with painting the Nike lettering at the heel. Um, I love how these came out and I haven't worn these shoes in over a year and now I think I'm gonna definitely have to go ahead and wear these. So um, if you like this video by all means guys go ahead and hit that like hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more of my content also follow me on instagram i'm a newbie on uh, mia so quick the same name and that's all i got for you guys stay tuned for my next one love you all goodbye